work. That's what you've done. That's a pretty good night's work. I say night, probably about ten minutes' work. Yeah, okay. I don't want to get too close. I might grab it and run away. So. Uh... Well, you can if you want, but it's you, worth staying. You, you have you a lifeline. You keep it. Well, you've got that. I mean, whatever happens, you can grab it and run away because that's guaranteed. You go home with that at least. But um, I'd hang about a bit if I was you. You're five away from a million and you still have one lifeline. What's in this for Dan, then, your brother up there? Uh, I think he's got his eye on my car. <laughs> on your car? <laughs> yeah. I heard him laugh behind me, so... Oh. Yeah. So What's I've you... only just been... just passed my test, so it's not anything special, but... Well, and he wants to nick it already? <laughs> well, he hasn't learned to drive yet, so he's going to need to learn in a car, so... Doesn't he look like Donny Osman? <laughs> no, he does, doesn't he? What do you think? OK, you've got £32,000. Um, you've got a big family, mum and dad to pay... Have you got lots of money to pay back? A lot. A lot. Mm. What, a lot? A lot. Six-year course got, is not cheap. You've got a one-stone cat to feed. <laughs> Dan to look after. Oh, you know we're near it yet, are you? So well. Right, you have £32,000. You have a phone a friend left. Question number 11 of a possible 15 is for £64,000. Here it comes. Who is Lord of the Isles and Prince and Great Steward of Scotland? Prince Philip. Prince Charles. Prince Andrew. Prince Edward. I think I know it. I think it's Prince Charles. I've recognised Lord of the Isles. I, I haven't heard the other one. Um, I think it's Prince Charles. Final answer? Yeah. Uh, you're right. It's £64,000. Well played. <laughs> Have a look. Hold it. Shaking a bit. Yeah. 64,000. So what does that mean? It means um, getting my own place. I haven't really thought about what it means. It means a new car. It means kitting out the new place. It means new clothes. It means holidays. Uh, I booked three weeks off shortly and uh, I haven't booked anywhere yet, so I'll start looking. You seem quite pleased then. I am quite pleased. I thought you would be. <laughs> That's fantastic. You are four away from one million. You may not have finished yet. You've still got to phone a friend, which could be crucial. Yeah. OK. okay. Take your time. This is question number 12. It's worth £125,000. What is the name of the aunt in Graham Greene's book, Travels with My Aunt? Esmeralda. Hilda. Augusta. Jemima. I have the faintest idea, so um, I need to ring someone, Chris. OK. I'd like to phone my uncle Ian, please. Uncle Ian? Yeah. Why have you chosen him? I think he's a quite well-read kind of man. OK. Do you want me to tell him it's worth 125000 <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello? Ian! Hello? Yeah, Ian, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Ah, oh, reasonably well, thank you. Well, good. Well, you know when you promised you'd be phone a friend to Luke? Yes. Well, this is that bit. All right. He has chosen you above all the others. He says you're the one most likely in the family to know the answer. I hope he's right. Well, I hope so as well. He's doing rather well, but he's stuck on one particular question. Right. Uh, so the next voice here will be Luke's. He'll tell you the question. Four possible answers. OK, one of them's worth quite a lot of money to him. Right. OK, right, yep. OK. Next voice here will be Luke. You've got 30 seconds, Luke, OK? Lots of luck. Your time starts now. What is the name of the aunt in Graham Greene's book, Travels with my aunt? Is it Esmeralda, Hilda, Augusta or Jemima? I have no idea. But I would guess Augusta, but I have no idea. OK, no problem. Sorry. Now, you've got, I mean, it's your call. You've got £64,000. One of those four is worth £125,000. Uh, it's up to you. You don't have to play. It's your call. There's absolutely no way I'm going to gamble. I haven't got the faintest idea. So um, I'll take the money and run. Take the money and run. Take the money and race out of here. 
doing cartwheels with the brother down behind you, hoping for a new car. Um, final answer, you can take the money? Final answer. What about old uh, night's work, though? Right, have a look at this. This is what you've done. Luke Hutchins goes away with this amount of money. £64,000. <laughs> Thank you now. It's yours. Thank you. Well played. But before you go, what would you have gone for? Aunt Jemima. Would you? <laughs> yeah. Well, because you know your uncle, what's he called, Ian? You know Uncle Ian sort of said, oh, I don't know, Augusta, but, uh, you know. Oh, no. Well, he would have been right, that's all. <sighs> Augusta was the right answer. It does mean this guy, Luke Hutchins, goes away. £64,000 better off. <laughs> right, we have nine contestants still left to play Fastest Finger First. Again, nice and quiet, please, in the audience. Here comes their next question. Put these authors in the order they were born. Charles Dickens, J.R.R. Tolkien, Aesop, William Shakespeare. Right, nine of them left. They're very quick on the buttons. Let's see. Uh, this is the right order. Uh, fairly obviously far, this one back, Aesop, uh, way back in the 6th century. Then William Shakespeare, uh, 60, 1564. Then Charles Dickens, 1812. Uh, and then, most recent, Tolkien, born 1892. So that's the right order. Now, out of nine, who got it right? And then we'll find out who's fastest. These were correct. Uh, most of them, who was fastest? James Plaskett in 3.03 seconds. <laughs> well played. Well played. Are you ready for this? Good man. Right, here we have James Plaskett, a chess grand master and writer originally from Bedford, but now living in Alicante in Spain. His friend and fellow grandmaster Stuart is up there in the audience, while James's wife Fiona is over in Spain with their nine-year-old son Sasha. James says he's not keen to say what he might spend any winnings on tonight, as he doesn't want to tempt fate. But he will admit that if he did win enough, he'd like to buy another home back here in the UK because he misses it so much. Right, James, lots of luck. 15 questions, three brand new lifelines. £1 million. Pounds. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, starting back down at the bottom, question number one is for £100. Which phrase refers to items which are very tightly squeezed together? Treacle stacked. Honey crammed. Jam packed. Marmalade stuffed. And packed final answer. It's the right answer. You got 100 pounds. <laughs> Question number two is for 200. In newspaper advertisements, what does the abbreviation O-N-O -O stand for? One night only. One naughty owner. Often needs oiling. Or nearest offer. Or nearest offer, finally. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Question number three is for 300 quid. Which of these biscuits is traditionally given to babies? Viennese finger, ginger nut, rich tea, rusk. Rusk, final answer. You have £300. <laughs> Question number four is for £500. You're two away from a guaranteed £1,000. Take your time, have a look. Which of these is not a shot in tennis? Drop shot, lob, off drive, smash. I believe an off drive is played in cricket, so I'll say C off drive. 500 pounds. <laughs> right, 
Right, James, last point, you could go home with nothing at all. Question number five, if you gave for it and give me the right answer, we'll guarantee you're going back with at least £1,000. Question number five of a possible 15 is this. Which of these items is said to kill a werewolf? Silver Jubilee, Silver Bullet, Silver Spoon, Silver Lining. Silver Bullet. It's the right answer. You have £1,000, James Plaskett. <laughs> How are you feeling? You look... I don't know what day it is, who you are, where we are. Anyway. <laughs> Me, Chris, you, James, you've got £1,000. Final answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so far. Um, I'm just being nosy, really. Why did you move... If you want to come back to England, buy a house in England if you get enough money, why did you move to Spain? That's what we're wondering. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's sunny, it's cheap, it's nice. It's it is sunny an and experiment. cheap. How do you become a grand chess master? You... Do you want the short answer or the long answer? You basically... Well, you win three strong international tournaments, essentially. That's a simplification. That's what it is. Because when you were playing this, I was just intrigued, because when you were playing it, you were playing it exactly like a game of chess. It's very much like focused... No, I was very... very uh, the plonker factor very much in I didn't want to go home with nothing. So. Well, you won't. That's it. OK. You've got £1,000 guaranteed, OK? All right. You, James, me, Chris. Right. <laughs> you have three lifelines. Question number six is for £2,000. Here it comes. What would usually be kept in a jardinier? Cigars, jewellery, plants, wine. I've never seen the word before. I don't know, jardin. It's French for garden. The suffix looks French as well. It's entirely a French word. I could nail it with a lifeline, but I don't know. Use the lifelines so I can avoid it, because as you can see, I'm not the world's greatest quizzer. Final answer, plants. James? It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> You have £2,000. You have all three lifelines. This is question number seven. Which actress gave birth to twins called Hazel and Phineas in 2004? Catherine Zeta-Jones, Liv Tyler, Julia Roberts... Julie Roberts, final answer. James. That's the right answer. You've got £4,000. Next, more from the king of keeping it cool, Chris Tarrant on Classic Millionaire. Then there's heart pounding and mat pounding action from TNA Explosion. And later, it's Blockbusters.